Hey, how y'all doing out there? Back at you again with another video. This time we want to do a quick unboxing of the Bold N1. Now before we unbox, let me just give you the specs of this device. Now you can find this device on Amazon.com for $200 or you can go straight to Bold.com and get the, the, the device there as well. Now, mind you, this is a budget phone. This phone is only $200. So before we unbox, let me give you the specs. It has a 6.4 inch Full HD AMOLED display with Gorilla Glass 5, a 92% screen to body ratio. Think about that. A 13 megapixel selfie pop-up camera. Dual AI, on the rear you have a 16 megapixel plus a five megapixel uh, camera and the five megapixel camera comes with a sensor with a depth sensor and a 96 megapixel super zoom. It has 128 gigs of internal memory, four gigs of RAM, and it has a micro SD card slot, which you can expand the memory up to 128 gigs. It has a 2.1 gigahertz octa-core Meditech Helo P70 processor, 64-bit plus AI technology. It has an in-display fingerprint sensor. It has a 3,500 milliamp battery with 18 watt ultra quick charging, USB type C and wireless charging. All that for $200. <laughs> That's pretty amazing for a budget phone. All right, so let's unbox it and check it out. As you can see here, the Bold N1. Now I just took the plastic off of it just to Get it open a little quicker, but I haven't checked the phone out yet. Uh, sorry about that. There we go. So we have the phone here. Get this out. We'll just set this over here on the side for the moment. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay. See what's in here all right so it comes with some earbuds you know and you do have pause and play and as you can see it's a regular it's a regular earphone so that means the phone has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which for some reason these flagship phones are removing I don't know why. Here the earbuds. They look pretty good. I'll let you know how they sound when I do my review. Okay. Here you have your USB type C charging cable. That's kind of looks like it's um not nylon, but it looks like um one of them non you know non type of um tangling, like it won't get tangled very easily. I like this, kind of cool. Okay. Here you have your 18 watt power brick to charge the phone up. Uh, yeah, it has bold insignia on it. That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's see what else we got in here. Got your bold N1 sticker. You got your SIM ejection tool. You got your rat poison here. <laughs> here you got your paperwork that nobody reads. And they give you a case, which is always a good thing. So that's something you don't have to worry about buying right away. You don't have to worry about damaging your phone. It's just a regular gel case, but it will offer you some protection for your device. You know, you don't have to worry about your your device being damaged. And I like that. Now, the thing that kills me, you got Samsung um, with the Note, the Note 10 Plus, which I have, don't even give you a case in the box. $1,100 phone. You have the iPhone 11 Pro, $1,300 phone or $1,100, depending on what model you get. No case in the box. Okay, you got the uh, Google Pixel 4 XL and the Google Pixel 4, 
no case in the box. Okay, that phone is a thousand dollars. You have the OnePlus Seven Pro, six seven hundred dollar phone, no case in the box. Think about that. All these phones over a thousand dollars, and they can't even put one gel clear case in the box. And here you got a two hundred dollar device with a case in the box and headphones. Okay, and headphones. One plus one, I mean one plus, no headphones in the box. The Google Pixel XL four, no headphones. I, I don't understand that. You charge people all this money, you can't even put a pair of headphones in the box. And look at this, y'all. Now check this out. Now this this is impressive. Two hundred dollar device, y'all. You get a glass screen protector also for the front of your device. Now this ain't one of them cheap ones. This is a really hard you know glass screen protector think about that screen protector you got you get a gel case you get a pair of headphones <laughs> all this straight in the box i mean think about that now let's take a look at the device so far i like what they give you in the box so we're going to move this out of the way Take this out of the plastic. Uh, uh, I hate plastic. It's so annoying. But it is what it is. Uh, alrighty. Uh, okay. Take that off. Wow, look at that. Nice. Nice, dark, midnight black. You have your two cameras on the back. You have your depth sensor there. On the bottom here, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a microphone, your USB Type-C port, and your speaker. On the left side, you just have where you put the SIM, your SIM card in. On the right side, you have your power button and your volume up and down rockers. At the top, you have another microphone there. Okay. All right. Not sure what that is. Okay. All right. Let's take the plastic off the front. Now let's power it up. See if we have any juice in it. All right. The bold in one. Now, keep in mind, this is a budget phone, $200 with expandable memory and wireless charging. <laughs> think about that. Okay, think about that. That's, that's pretty amazing. Okay. And look, the screen looks very, very bright. Now, I haven't, you know, of course, I haven't connected anything, but let me do this. Let me drop my information in here. And then I'll come back and then we'll just, you know, look at a few things and then we'll go from there. All right. All right. Be back at you in a minute. All right, y'all. So I'm back now. My stuff is still, you know, loading in the background. So basically, we're not going to do a review of this phone right now. I'm just going to basically tell you I'm extremely impressed with this device. Now, the build quality on this device is excellent. Is not it doesn't feel like a two hundred dollar phone like a cheap piece of plastic trash. No, it feel if it has a, like a premium feel to it. It has a nice weight heft to it. It definitely does not feel like no cheap device at all. I'm telling you right now. Um, the screen, as you can see, is pretty bright. It has an AMOLED display, which is nice. So the blacks will be really black. I mean, for two hundred dollars, this phone is very impressive to me. It really is. I can't wait to do the review on it. You know, I got to test the camera, you know, the video part of it, um, you know, go through the OS and all that stuff like that. But I'm just trying to tell you just first impressions. This is impressive. Now, this thing has a, a, a selfie pop up camera, which I'll demonstrate right now. 
Let's see. Here we go. You see that right there? Here it is, right there. Little pop up camera. You hear it? <laughs> now, a pop up camera on a $200 device, that's pretty amazing. That, that really is. So, and you got all kind of modes in here. But like I said, we're going to go over all that when I do my review. Um, one more thing I just want to let you see really fast. I want you to hear the speakers. The speakers are pretty loud. And it's only one speaker now. It doesn't have dual speakers. This is just one speaker. Look at that display. That display is beautiful. Now for one speaker, that speaker is pretty loud. Not bad. Now, once again, <laughs> this is a $200 device that has a 6.4 inch full HD AMOLED display with a 92% screen to body ratio, Gorilla Glass 5, 13 megapixel pop up selfie, AI camera. 128 gigs of internal storage with a with expandable memory up to 125 gigs when you get you know add a you know um, a micro SD card slot. This thing has quick charge, 18 watt quick charge. It has wireless charging. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It has a 3,500 milliamp battery. I mean, think about that. All that for 200 dollars. I mean, that's impressive. I mean, this is <clears throat> this is by far the cheapest phone that I've had in my hand, like a budget phone that felt premium. And I can't wait to do the review on this, but we'll get to that soon. But once again, this is the Bold N1. $200 device, y'all, with all that stuff to come with it. Remember, it comes with headphones, okay? Comes with a screen protector. A glass screen protector, which I showed you, okay? And it comes with a, a gel case. All that for 200 bucks. Can't beat that. Now, if you need to get this phone for a, 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 ch a kid or, you know, you need a backup phone, this is the phone to get. This might be the best budget phone of the year. I haven't had all the phones, but I'm telling you, this phone is impressive. So I'll get back to you guys with a review. Maybe I'll do a small review after a couple of days with the device just to give you an idea of what I'm experiencing. Then I'll do the full review in about a week or so. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.